the Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Everything you have today, my friend, cannot go with you to the grave. Everything that you work for, everything that you own, will not go with you into heaven. You cannot take it with you. The only thing you can have on this planet called earth to get you into heaven is the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Religion remains after you die. Religion does not follow you. Baptism will not get you into heaven. That stays behind. Only by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ can you be saved. Church attendance stays behind. I'm here to tell you that death is imminent, death is sure, death is coming. And you do not know what time it will come. I'm here to tell you after death that there is an afterlife. There is life after the grave. That life is eternal life in heaven. And that life is eternal life in hell. But Jesus said, I am the way the light, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. By me, Jesus said, not religion, not what you can do, not of any work please, any man can boast. Salvation brought to you by, brought to you by, I say by God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. If you have old milk in the refrigerator, it has perished, you throw it away. If you have not Jesus Christ as your Savior, God will throw you away to the devil's hell, prepare for the devil's nation. Nothing will get you through the gate, into glory, except the precious blood and the sinless blood of the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. All men have a sin condition, for the Bible says that all have sinned, come to shore the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. You have a need today, you have a need to be saved, you have a need, Jesus said, that you need to be born again. Again, you're going to die, the only thing you can take with you is the blood of Christ. Nothing else will go. A you all will not follow. Packing bricks and boxes will not follow. But that which will last is only by Christ. By the gospel that the Bible records that Christ died for your sins. And they buried him. And he arose again the third day according to Scripture. the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said that you must be born. Jesus said you cannot see heaven. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. And yet you keep on going on with your lives, thinking what you are doing is what is God approved and it is not God approved. You think you keep on going and something's going to happen and death is this death and nothing be sure. As you stand before God one day, you have to give an account. You stand with an excuse to say there is no God. Just because you're a mere human, you will stand before that God as He laughs at you and proclaims that He is. But there is no other name given by the man where He must be saved. The name that is Jesus above all names. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Just because you don't believe, what does that have to do with anything? What does that matter? You're just dust in the wind. But the Bible records that you have a need. And God has met that need and you need. You must repent. You need to turn to Christ as your Savior. You need to acknowledge the God that created you. Yes, I said that God that created you. You're not a 
signal of a big bang, the big bang comes later on. As Peter writes in his epistle, that the earth will be gone. Mother earth will burn. Mother earth will be destroyed. And what here on this mother earth that you proclaim, it will be gone, it will not be here. Your power, your education, your money, your occupation, your family, your house will be all